I don't know what's the what's the meaning with this thing. What is up creatives? So in this video we are going to recreate this poster using Adobe Photoshop and Photoshop only. So as you can see we have this bunch of layers over here and some groups. And yeah, I'll basically help you explain how you can achieve this really interesting poster. I got inspired from Pinterest, from a design studio from like Belgium, I guess, or Netherlands that created a similar poster to this one. So I was like, okay, let's try. I really like the elements, like the spheres and the, the gradients. Now we are going to start and discuss and dissect the whole poster. I will basically explain the whole process behind it, how I achieved this final result. I will explain the whole process behind every layer. You can try and do this as well. Like the first thing that you have to do is create a new layer like your background color, all the backspace and fill it with black. Now go to filter, noise, add noise depending on your like document size the amount of noise will vary my document size at the moment is an is an a3 because i'm thinking of printing this poster so filter noise add noise i think that 15 percent is more than enough on my current size so yeah go to 15 percent uniform click ok so we have our background layer. The next thing that we have to do is to find a PNG of a sphere. You take a sphere, that's a PNG, drag it into Photoshop, then hit Ctrl T on your keyboard or Command T on Mac, right click and then click, click warp and then it will break your image into nine segments. Every segment of your current image is scalable or changeable and stuff like that. And you basically just play with it until you like the final result, right? So let's say for the sake of this example that I like this one. I'll tick the icon and there, there I have it. There you have it, like your custom modified sphere, right? And then you just have to duplicate it and uh, you basically put it on your document wherever you want then you have to group all the layers that you have like all the sphere layers like holding shift and then clicking on the the first and the last one then hitting ctrl g on the keyboard which is the action for creating a group and then duplicate the group hide the bottom one merge group yeah or the command is Control e the next thing that you have to do is go on the internet and find the image of a gradient i will link this photo in the description of this video so feel free to download it okay the next thing that you have to do is add more spheres on top of the layer with the gradient group them as well and I played with the blending options and I decided to go with difference because I think it is the best option for my current gradient but you can play with multiply looks really interesting as well maybe we should maybe I will go multiply for this it's the time that we have to add a rectangle where we will put a bunch of text and some shapes we have our two rectangles one has like a fill color of black and the other one has only a stroke with seven pixels a white stroke with seven pixels so in order to create this rectangle you go you press u, u on your keyboard which will select the rectangle tool and then drag a rectangle or a square square yeah. rectangle or a square or whatever you like and then we can finally add some text so I've added this one using Helvetica Neue bold outline with a 65.12 and then added this one as well. Poster whole concept is like a party poster and this ethereal will be our main headliner and the DJ like ethereal it's a Romanian DJ so I've put it like the Romania like the country from where he is. And then this word fete, I don't know how to pronounce it, it's, it's in French, it stands for party. 
The next step is like duplicated more spheres so I can add them in the inch in the interior of this square so it will be a little bit more interesting. Maybe we can just group this layers all together like uh, inside. All right, so we have like a bit of spheres, some text, and you probably are wondering right now how did I like cut those spheres like in this shapes. It's very easy. Let me take one sphere that is not quite cut like the center one let me just find it right so this is our big one right so let's say that we want to put it in here and we want it to be cut how can we do that it's very easy we have to go our, on our rectangle layer hold control and click inside this icon as you can see it selects the icon go to our rectangular marquee tool or press M on your keyboard, right click, select inverse, make sure now you have your like shape selected, your shape layer selected and then hit delete and it's easy, it will cut, it will cut what's outside of this rectangle. I will leave it like right here, it's in its initial form. Maybe you are wondering why is this black line over here? I think that Photoshop has like a visual bug or something. I cannot explain it, but if I zoom right in, you can see it's not, it's not, it's not like a black line. So it's perfectly cut it. I don't know what's the, what's the meaning with this thing. Now you need to add your glued paper texture. I will link this paper texture pack in this video description. So make sure you're going to check this video description because you will find the gradient picture and the glued paper texture pack. Also don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so every time I will post a new video you'll be the first one that knows. Now I've added like uh, an adjustment layer above my texture. So the adjustment layer is like levels. So how you can add this is very easy go over this here and then click on levels and then you can play with the levels until you achieve your like desired color like color balance mine looks like this right now it has six maybe we can put one and then 255 or 0 0.5 as you can see it will change like the whole idea of the of the poster i've added a bunch of text and another shape i've added like a like a separation line using the rectangle tool but make it like very very thin this i guess yeah or a bit thicker don't forget to uncheck stroke because you do not need stroke and then i've added like another gradient it's the same picture but with different uh human saturation so how you how did i do that it's simple you will need to go on image adjustment human saturation or hitting the command and new and then play with the hue and saturation what i've done here is like basically create a new text layer and then move it on the left side and one on the right side and then rasterize it like right clicking and then rasterize type so it will be easier for you to edit it and on the right side i've like cut it the word t and e like like a small part of a t and the rest of the e and then move it on the left side so it will be like easy to read i mean in graphic design you can play with text with fonts as as long as you don't like stretch it so we've added a bit of text some text elements so our composition will be a bit more dynamic a bit more playful now i've added some text here some information like party info let's just check them all so slow life wax records is like a showcase as you can see we have ethereal our main headliner this right side is like a mirrored image of our and this is basically it in, in graphic design if you do like abstract posters like this it's what's all about like adding elements and stuff that like connects like makes makes your whole composition like work together i prefer working with this one it's a bit clean it has a bit more negative space 
I really like working with negative space. Negative space is your friend. As I said before in one of my videos, you have to take advantage and play with the negative space because it will only help your designs look more clean, more dynamic, more balanced. So this is it guys for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please consider liking this video, sharing with your friends that are like graphic designers or I don't know, aspiring in becoming a graphic designer. Maybe they will like it. Maybe they will start doing abstract poster designs. I will also link my Instagram in the description of this video. You should definitely go and check it out. I have like really interesting poster experiments that I started doing every day for 365 days. Follow me on Instagram and thank you and I will see you in the next one.